Сегодня в программе. Pushing who's got control of the nuclear button in the Soviet Union. The ministers of Europe have discussed the situation in our country and in Yugoslavia. The fate of Eric Honecker, as formerly, is still a question mark. Terror in the rail st railroad stations of Great Britain. The mayor of Moscow, Gavril Popov, has been speaking about resigning. Today, the Moscow Art Theater is, is celebrating the anniversary of the great uh, uh, Russian actor Mikhail Chekhov. Good evening. Today, in Moscow, in the Kremlin, in the, in the Catherine Hall, there, was a negotiate, there were negotiations between Yeltsin and Baker. The negotiations uh, took place for over three hours and very intense. A number of questions were discussed, many of which were part of the component of the Soviet Union that included nuclear weaponry, relations with the republics, credits, free access to regions which previously had been closed to foreigners, assistance of humanitarian aid. Uh, it was decided to, uh, as to send aid to the Soviet Union. The first uh, shipment will be delivered tomorrow. Uh, then there was discuss there's a one-on-one -on -one discussion between Baker and Yeltsin. Then they, afterwards they met with the press. The agreement which was signed by the three republics, or the three independent sta uh, states, on the 21st will be signed by six more states, so that in December there will be at least uh, 10 states which have signed the agreement. As to creating a commonwealth, we, on an equal basis, will be developing cooperation within the commonwealth. And we are signing an agreement on a defensive union with a unified command of strategic nuclear forces, where we will include the Air Force, the Navy, the anti-air defense system, strategic nuclear weapons, tactical nuclear weaponry, and intelligence operations. Yeltsin stressed that the question of use of the use of nuclear weapons would be discussed with the leaders of the four republics where it was uh, where, the, where this weaponry was uh, was located, and likewise with the minister of defense. Uh, and responding to the question as to who would be the chief commander in chief, the. Uh, uh, President of Russia said he would like to dismiss the news put out yesterday and this morning to the effect that it's on television that I and Mr. Shaposhnikov, the Minister of Defense, supposedly had agreed that the Commander-in-Chief would be Gorbachev. There was no such conversation and nothing even like it. And I find I find myself embarrassed for the media uh, for having put out such a version. As for the non-proliferation treaty, Yeltsin said that all the four states w which possessed uh, nuclear weapons were, would join the non-proliferation treaty and they would uh, attempt, they would, uh, with the exception of Russia, they would attempt to be non-nuclear states. Belarusia and Ukraine have declared that they wish to be non-nuclear states, and for that reason, the, their uh, weaponry will not be transferred to Russia, but will be destroyed within the framework of the, of the agreements uh, which took place between the former Soviet Union and the United States. As for Kazakhstan, we have still to conduct such negotiations within the framework of the Commonwealth so that they might also proceed along proceed along this path. The, uh, Russia would be uh, eliminating a good deal of nuclear uh, weaponry with the assistance of the United States and, and examine the question as to uh, recognizing Russia, I have my United States, uh, the recognition of Russia as an independent state, the entrance of Russia into the UN, and correspondingly in agreement with the other republics that Russia might 
occupy the place which had been freed up uh, in the uh, Security Council. Mr. Baker said he would immediately inform Mr. Bush as to his negotiations, including the question of the recognition of separate or individual Republics. Today, James Baker uh, was uh, met with Mr. Gorbachev in the Catherine Hall. First, he responded to journalists. I think these are historical processes where the Soviet Union is entering into a new stage. This is very serious, both for our peoples, and for such partners of ours as the United States. This is an enormous responsibility, and we find ourselves in a historical situation. where our uh, contacts are, are in the interests of both our peoples. For his part, Mr. Baker stressed that the United States understood the uh, importance of the fundamental changes taking place in the Soviet Union and the, and the responsibility of the United States to help out. During the conversation, there was a thorough exchange of opinions on further developing uh, uh, relations be between the two countries. There was also a meeting of Mr. Baker with the Minister of Defense, Mr. Shapashnikov. They discussed the question of, of security of Soviet nuclear weaponry. The American administration was concerned, and Mr. Baker was assured that the Soviet uh, weaponry would be controlled with under a framework of total agreement between the republics. As we have just learned, there is a meeting of Shevardnadze now taking place with Baker, and this is a one-on-one -on -one discussion, so we have no details. Now, to conclude the topic here of, of American relations, Mr. Bush uh, said that the United States continued to hold to a cautious approach with regard to the independence of Russia and the other republics uh, which might wish to join the new Commonwealth. Mr. Bush uh, said that the United States would do all possible to render humanitarian and medical assistance to Russia and the republics. Now, also on uh, U.S. relations, the Inter-Republican inter -Republican Service of Security confirmed they would hand over to the United States exhausted information on the location of buggy in the new building of the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. The fact of uh, presence of such equipment has uh, worsened relations between Washington and Washington, Moscow. This uh, step was agreed upon and coordinated between the United States administration and Russia. Today in Brussels, there was a meeting of ministers of foreign affairs of the European community who agreed to reduce the amount of credit to be extended to our country by one half to roughly to 500 million AQ is a European currency units. This is, is because of the uh, complex situation in the Soviet Union, which makes it a risky investment. At the same time, it was agreed that free uh, food assistance would be sent to Moscow and St. Petersburg. <coughs> Today, in the village Krivulyanya, a step was made toward normalizing the situation in Moldova, which is the formerly Mo former Moldavia. In this hall, today, at 1 uh, p.m. Moscow time, there was a coordinating commission uh, meeting, Moldova and the representatives of the Dniester region wanted to normalize the situation in the conflict areas.
This is Mr. Sangeli, uh, who is the first Deputy Prime Minister of the Republic. Uh, he says that the troops have been withdrawn to their permanent stationing areas. We are about to hand over weapons, remove all sorts of barriers which have been constructed, and we hope that by the evening this question will be resolved. Mr. Uh, Mirchi Snegor, who is the President of, of the Republic, has uh, agreed with the police to regulate the situation, but in the city of Dubasari, where five people died and 14 were wounded, is still in a tense state. There are more than 14 million republics and three publics with separate presidents. The problem is even more complex than in Karabakh or, or, or Assisia. The nationalists want to unite Bessarabia and Bukovina with Romania. Romania. Uh, the uh, left bank and the Gagauzi areas are, wish to be 